Elite Facts presents Crazy Kim Jong Un Facts You Need to Know. 8. He attended private school in Switzerland. When Kim Jong il died, it was up in the air as to who would take his place and run North Korea. Il had two sons, Kim Jong Chui and Kim Jong Nam. So obviously, one of those two would be the next heir to the Kim dynasty, right? Wrong. Kim Jong Un stepped into the limelight out of nowhere. Nobody even knew about his existence before his father died. Well, there's a good reason for that. Kim Jong Un had been hiding away in Switzerland for pretty much his entire life. While living in Switzerland, he would assume the alias of Pak Choi and would attend one of Switzerland's most pristine private schools, Liebenfeld Steinholz. Fun fact, Kim Jong Un is an avid sneaker collector. According to his classmates, Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un had insanely expensive collection of sneakers that are worth hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars during his tenure at the school. Kim Jong Un was introduced as the son of an embassy worker, and his best friend growing up, Zhao Mikolo, was the only person at the Scholastic Institute aware of Supreme Leader's lineage. We're not going to lie, we can't help but find it amusing when thinking about parent teacher meetings. Could you imagine Kim Jong Il and Kim Jong Un sitting there while the teacher tries to explain his bad grades? That is hilarious to us. What did happen instead when it came to parent teacher meetings, Supreme Leader's chaperones continually made excuses as to why Kim Jong il couldn't attend. Not that the school had any idea that the son of Kim Jong il attended their classes. 7. He likes cheese a lot. I mean, who doesn't love cheese? Well, except for people lactose intolerant, but still, cheese is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. However, no matter how much you love cheese, North Korea's great leader, Kim Jong Un, loves it even more than you do. Prioritizing North Korea is important for some citizens, but as the leader, Kim Jong Un gets to have some interests in the rest of the world. One of his most famous is Swiss cheese. Kim Jong Un picked up this unhealthy addiction when he was based over in Switzerland while attending private school. It's estimated that he spends tens of thousands of pounds a year to import the stuff. Yikes! His addiction was so bad that back in the fall of 2014, Kim Jong Un ballooned up to 20 stone or 280 pounds. Bear in mind, he's only 5 foot 7 inches tall. Because of this massive weight gain in such a short space of time, he ended up fracturing both of his ankles. 6. He underwent cosmetic surgery to look like his grandfather. Okay, now this isn't funny, but it's simply just strange. So according to leaks sprung by Chinese diplomats linked to insiders within the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the now supreme leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, allegedly had plastic surgery many years ago in order to look like his eternal leader grandfather, Kim Il-sung. The Korean Central News Agency for the longest time was silent whenever the subject was brought up. However, in recent years, the Korean Central News has gone on record to say that the reports were, quote, sorted hack work by rubbish media, insisting that the idea is unimaginable and a hideous criminal act which the party, states, army, and people can never tolerate, all but confirming that the cosmetic procedure actually did take place. True or not true, we think the real question here is, why would he go through with such a medical procedure? It seems pretty pointless. Apparently, the surgery was an attempt to look more fatherly to the people of the DPRK. Yeah, again, that is a pretty pointless act because people of the DPRK already look up to him like a god. So essentially, the supreme leader is already perfect and always imaginable. 5. He is obsessed with basketball and Michael Jordan. Now, okay, at first glance, you wouldn't take Kim Jong Un as a sporty type, but as it turns out, he's actually an avid fan of basketball. So avid, in fact, that he was one of the school's rising stars in Switzerland. He was commended for his competitive spirit and love of all things winning. At one point, a friend recalled a pair of DPRK women recording the future supreme leader playing basketball, mimicking another of his basketball heroes, Kobe Bryant. So yeah, he was a decorated athlete during his school years. However, his love of the sport at one point, and could potentially still be the case today, was an obsession. Supreme leader Kim Jong Un grew up as a huge fan of basketball, especially the NBA and Michael Jordan, and showed absolutely no interest in geopolitics and other machinations of power. His schoolyard friends growing up remembered that he, quote, spent hours doing meticulous pencil drawings of Michael Jordan. Some people even say that his favorite film of all time is Space Jam, and it's a requirement to watch it at least once a week. 4. 
His best friend forever is Dennis Rodman. So you think his love of basketball wasn't crazy enough, he's actually really, really good friends with NBA legend and star of the greatest blockbuster film of all time, Double Team, Dennis Rodman. So as it turns out, Dennis Rodman travels to the DPRK quite frequently and has formed quite the blossoming bromance with the North Korean leader. I mean, the pairing is a match made in heaven for those two. Kim Jong-un is a huge fan of basketball and Dennis Rodman, well, guess he now has a powerful ally? It's like they were made for each other. Kim Jong-un got what he wanted from this unlikely pairing, meeting a real live NBA star who won five championships with Michael Jordan's Bulls and the bad boy Pistons led by Isaiah Thomas. And hey, Rodman values their friendship just as much. He even went out of his way to back Un up when the Sony hacks were happening back in 2014, stating that his very good buddy didn't have the heart to do such a thing. Their friendship is nothing but Kim Jong fun. Three. Kim Jong-un lies about a lot of things. So this is a bit of a running joke on the internet that kind of started back in 2014. Hell, it could have started earlier, but it was during the 2014 World Cup where people started catching on to his little white lies. So who remembers who won the World Cup back in 2014? Germany, right? Well, according to North Korea, Germany didn't win. In fact, they weren't even in the finals. Apparently, North Korea made it to the finals and were set to face Portugal. I mean, it must be true. They threw a massive celebration party and everything. Not only was this false, but North Korea weren't even in the 2014 World Cup. Oh, but these amazing lies don't stop there. The report says North Korea's brave side crushed Japan 7 to nothing, USA 4 to nothing, and China 2 to nothing in the group stages before going on to reach the final. So according to North Korea, other lies include the likes of Kim Jong Un traveling to the top of North Korea's tallest mountain all by himself. None of their great leaders need to use the toilet facilities, and Japan has allegedly stolen time from them back in the early 1900s. We're not even joking. North Korea is on the fast track to discovering Sesame Street and Fraggle Rock, which were deemed unfindable. 2. He's technically not the leader. Now, yes, when it comes to leadership in North Korea, Kim Jong-un is the top dog. However, it must be said that he is not the highest ranking official in North Korea. This occupation has been filled by his grandfather, Kim Il-sung. Did we mention that Kim Il-sung is dead? Well, as it turns out, Kim Il-sung appointed himself as the eternal president, a title higher than his grandson's, meaning that even after his death, he will still be the overall leader of North Korea. Yeah, that is pretty strange. The odd part is that he's been dead for 21 years. 1. Insufficient Grieving of Ancestors Okay, so this could really be said about all the previous leaders of North Korea, but we're going to include it here since it's something that was done recently during Kim Jong-un's reign of power. So ancestors are highly important to Kim Jong-un. So important to him, in fact, that he put one of his ministers into jail for insufficient grieving during his father's funeral. And there are even rumors that he sentenced one assistant to death by mortar for being drunk during mourning. And that's our list. Did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments below and please remember to subscribe and tap that bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.